Hey, good morning, everyone. Great to be with you today. It's only like four more days until the election, and I don't know if we're going to even have results on election night. I mean, there's so much craziness going on, and if you, you know, if you listen to either side of the candidates, they both tell you that the world's going to end if the other side gets elected. And you know what? I, I think for some people, it might. Some people have got their whole world, their whole value, their whole uh, personhood wrapped around who's going to win the election. Their soul is being driven and drifted by the things of this world. I was reading my Bible this morning, and I was reading in Daniel. And in Daniel chapter 2, Daniel's uh, um, been, been taken away in captivity to Babylon, you know, his homelands, you know, thousands of miles away. And, uh, and, he, and he's there, and King Nebuchadnezzar has a dream, and it freaks him out. And he tells his advisors, hey, what does my dream mean? And they can't tell him. And uh, they say, well, well, King, tell us what your dream was, then we'll tell you the answer. He says, no, 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 you're just playing a trick on me. You tell me what my dream was, and you need to interpret it. They can't do it. Daniel hears about it, and he says, hey, I know a God who puts up kings and he puts down kings. He knows the times and the seasons. His wisdom is beyond all wisdom. And I stopped there in verse 21 of chapter 2, and I went, wow. I don't know who's going to get into office, but I know this. God puts up kings and he puts down kings. He knows the times and the seasons. And I'm going to anchor my soul in that promise. And if my soul is anchored there, nothing can pull me away from that unless I'm going backwards. You know anything about anchors? you got to go backwards to get that thing out. As long as it's pulling, I am secure, I'm safe. Where is your anchor today? Is it in the election? Uh, your toast. Is it in Christ, the one who puts up kings? He knows the times and the seasons. Right now we're in a time. It can be freaky, but God says, I also know the season. Let me show you the whole picture. If you can see him, you're secure, you're safe. If you look at the world around you, yeah. Jesus, thank you, God, that you have given us an anchor for our soul, that you know the seasons of my life, the time I'm in right now is a little scary, but God, when you look at the big picture, I am okay, and my anchor will hold in you. In Jesus' name, amen. Love you guys. Be at church this Sunday. We're starting a brand new series on transferring trust to Christ, and you won't want to miss it. It's going to be awesome.